Do you want to know what you can do in Córdoba in just one day? Stick with me and you'll find out. If you come into Cordoba by car or motorbike, like I've done today, park at the shopping center El Arcángel, and then you walk into town from there. You will walk past this uh, DC4, and, uh, and then you continue to pass in to the city just the opposite way. So um, come with me and then we'll have a look and see what Cordoba is like. Okay, I've come now to the Calahorra Tower. And uh, I think that in the winter time, if you want to park, um, you might be able to park a little bit closer to this tower than over there at that shopping center that I told you. Um, though in the summertime, when there's a lot of tourism, I would still recommend you to park over there. So let's have a look at this tower first of all. So the Calahorra Tower is actually a fortified gate and it protected something very special. Behind me here you see now a bridge. This bridge is called the Roman Bridge and it's been featured uh, in, amongst other things, the Game of Thrones. So uh, for you that are die-hard fans you will probably recognize this bridge. So behind me here you have the famous mosque or cathedral, whichever uh, religion you want to contribute the construction to this. It's absolutely beautiful here. The cafe that I'm sitting at is called Serena Cafe and it's actually uh, situated just through that gate in the wall, the defense walls of Cordoba. So I'm gonna have a nice toast here. With some tomato, which I like. And a nice cup of Coffee with milk, cafe con leche. This here, the toast and the coffee comes to 250, so it's not too bad.
If you want to find a place to get lost in, in Cordoba, uh, you go into the neighborhood of La Juderia, which is the Jewish, old Jewish quarters. And uh, they have little narrow streets that are very, very interesting. And I'm going to try to find the Arab baths, I think. No, it's not down there. Nice little alley though. Let's see if I can find it. This is literally a maze of little narrow streets, but I find a little sign. <laughs> so there it is, Los Banos Arabes. I think it's closed because of the pandemic, but uh, we'll have a look. So come with me. Yep, closed. Anyway, uh, see these doors? I love them. Very, very ornate, carved wood. Impressive, actually. Well worth the visit just to come here and look at the door. <laughs> the streets here are awesome, so even though things are closed, you will still enjoy yourself here. So right here in, in amongst the maze of the Jewish quarters, you have the synagogue. Well, you're not allowed to record inside. Uh, it is lovely inside, even though it's um, surprisingly small. Uh, I did expect it to be a tiny bit bigger. Um, but uh, very intricately carved and uh, ornate. So it's uh, worth a visit, even though it only takes about five minutes to do so. It's free entrance. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go on and see what else I can find here in La Juderia. Just in between the mosque and the synagogue, you have this little square, uh, which is called El Soco, and it's kind of an artisan uh, square where you can go and have a look at uh, people actually making handicraft with leather, wood, and other things. And uh, so, uh, don't forget to pop in here and have a look. It's really charming.
So here I am behind the cathedral or the mosque here in Cordoba and uh, I'm gonna go up one of these little side streets here. Uh, this street is called uh, Velasquez Bosco and uh, I think I'll find a little st street where you have blue flower pots and uh, which is quite picturesque and um, it's become really famous so I'm gonna see if I can find it as well. Did you miss it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, it's just, there's the mosque and there's the Calle Las Flores. It's just a tiny, tiny little street. I don't really know what the fuss is all about, but anyway, I'll go through so you can see properly. Okay, so I must confess it is kind of nice. This little street here and then you can see the the bell tower in the background. Yeah, it's worth a visit. So I've come to a little bar uh, called Niklas and uh, really good atmosphere here and uh, I'm taking advantage to charge my batteries for the camera and I'm ordering something called Salmorejo. Salmorejo is a traditional puree which is uh, made here in Cordoba traditionally, comes from here and uh, it's got um, tomatoes, bread, oil and garlic and then you have eggs and ham as a garnish on top so Let's see what it's like here. Mm, very, very creamy. I don't know how to describe it. You got that little um, saltiness from the ham, the eggs, you give it a bit of texture. And to contrast the creaminess of, uh, of the samorejo, of this puree. But also you have that little twang of the garlic which kind of dots the eye, you know? Mm. If you come to Cordoba, you have to try this. So I've come to the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos and uh, it's kind of a big tower here and uh, also inside there is supposed to be some lovely gardens so let's go and check that out.
So the entrance is actually here, and you go into a really nice part. I didn't, I didn't expect that. And uh, with different rooms and tunnels and kind of a medievalish look. And now I'm out here. We're going to go through the gardens here. Okay, so these gardens are big yes. You have to see this. You have to see the fountains, the, the fish ponds, and the... Oh, it's so beautiful, everything. So this is a must if you come to Cordoba. See the Alcázar gardens. Okay, so next stop is the La Mesquita, the mosque, or also called the cathedral. And I'm just walking through a little uh, riverside park here. It's just about 200 meters away from the Alcázar de los Reyes and uh, this is also a little nice stroll, so definitely. <laughs> you know, this might be a grey November day, but uh, I very much like just walking around and uh, discovering things on rainy days. You don't have that beating sunlight. There isn't as many people about, so you get a clear view of everything. And look at the things you can see here, my goodness. So uh, don't be afraid of the gray. Don't be afraid of the clouds. Don't be afraid of a little rain. If it starts to rain heavy, well, you hide, it, hide in a nice little tapas bar and uh, wait it out, or just buy an umbrella. So uh, it's all in the attitude. I decided many years ago that I was going to love rain and uh, it was a decision I made and since then I love it more and more. So uh, getting uh, close to the Mesquita now, the mosque, and I've just come upon this again. Puente Romano, the Roman bridge and uh, you never really get tired of looking at this thing. It is awesome. Wow, so majestic.
The mosque was mind-blowing. Well worth 11 euros it took to get in there. You can't record audio in there so I wasn't able to do running commentary but um, you saw for yourself it is absolutely amazing so that's an obligatory stop yes it's a bit of a everybody goes there you know all the tourists go there but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't I was very lucky to come on a Friday it was really work day here and uh, I was able to have the place nearly on my own and um, of course due to the pandemic as well people don't go out as much especially not here in Cordoba these days so um, but still even though it's crowded well worth a visit so here finishes my trip to Cordoba today I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have uh, please give a little like Give a little subscription click there so that I can continue to produce material that you like. Please drop a comment as well below, uh, then I'll know more what you'd like to see. So for now, hasta luego. Well, here I am at the bottom. No. And a nice tostada. So I'm sitting here. So this cafe that I'm sitting at is called the uh, Serena Cafe, and it's actually on the other side of that uh, wall there. No. And uh, this was something that uh, was established in 1956, and uh, the I, the town hall. No. Just in between the synagogue and the mosque, you have this little plaza. This little no. Just in between the mosque and... <laughs> so I've come to a little bar called Niklas. Um, this has got really good Google view. So, um, until the next one, hasta... <laughs>